Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So this time what I'm going to be showing is again we are the challenge for on the web application pen testing series, right? So in this particular challenge, unlike the rest of the previous three challenges, let me tell you the first challenge it was a blank password, there was no password. Second level, there was a password, you did a right click in view source, it was a plain text password. Third challenge, when you did a right click view source, the, there was a password, it was not plain text password, it was a URL encoded password, I had to use certain tools to URL decode it and use it. Now, I'm hoping that it is not going to be like that, it's going to be a little more complex and I can clearly see, I can clearly feel the uh, progression of challenges is inviting more complex uh, situations, right? So let's see. Okay, let's read this uh, one. Wow. Vinod enters a room full of sparkling rubies and diamonds. Perhaps this is a part of the Persian ruler's treasure. As he goes near it only to find out that it is just a hologram of jewels. It's not the actual jewels. It's a hologram of jewels. Vinod Sindhil must not lose hope for this. This is just a part of the remarkable journey to unravel the mysteries of the whereabouts of the beautiful jewels possessed by the Persian kings. He must look for other routes to see the real jewels. So, I have to find the jewels to get the password for this particular challenge to clear the challenge. right? So, before I use the hint, let me click pass WD file. There is a file that's got downloaded. Let's see. Okay, please notice it says passwd.jpg is a file. It appears that we don't support this file format. Always remember jpg file is an image file. BMP is an image file. A PNG is an image file. Likewise, there are multiple file extensions, right? So this file, image file is not opening in this file extension. I mean, this application which means probably the file extension is not an image file extension. It may be something else. Otherwise, the image would have opened, right? So let me do this. I then click hint to understand I'm okay to lose one point. Any file can be opened with the text editor, straightforward clue, right? But we have always thought that a text editor can open only a text file, right? Let me show you, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll just close the previous tabs. I'm going to open notepad. This is the perfect text editor that we have for a very long time. So now I do this, scroll, click. Please pay attention. I'm just dragging and dropping the pwd.jpg file inside notepad, right? Look at this. How beautiful, how beautiful, how beautiful. This is so exciting. Please pay attention. So if you see from this, what do you notice? Do you notice anything strange? I do see something strange. Most of it is junk data obviously but there is a portion of the file that i don't think is a junk wow just copy this i okay i'll just try some random passwords see the number of tries from 66 is going to 67 that's fine so i put the uh, password that have, we have stolen wow I have successfully cleared this particular challenge too. I opened the jpg file with notepad.exe. This is how I cleared it, right? So let me tell you, we have moved to the challenge 5. Before we go, I will just quickly summarize how did I clear this challenge. Unlike the previous challenges, all I had to do is download the jpeg file, which is often the image file. I opened a text editor dragged and dropped the jpg file into the text editor just to see that the data is clearly visible. I was looking forward to see if there is some kind of a payload available but the clue gave me 
all the information away to clear this challenge but this was really a very interesting and entertaining challenge i really understood that jpeg files are not to be open only with the image viewer it can also be dragged and drop into a text editor right in fact this particular clue says any file extensions can be open in a text editor how sweet right so uh, in case you learned something about file extensions and text editors or if you think someone would love to learn this consider sharing and subscribing thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity